These things I have written to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, that you may know that you have eternal life, and that you may continue to believe in the name of the Son of God. You can read this in 1 John chapter 5, verse 13. Are you afraid of dying? Many people have become so tired of a chronic illness that they embrace death as a relief. Some people are so weighed down with pressures of life that they welcome death as an escape. Most of us have experienced such feelings. But that is not the way the Bible says Christians should find deliverance from the fear of the grave. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. Let not your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in Me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go and prepare a place for you, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. And where I go, you know, and the way you know. Think about how differently you would face death if you knew Jesus had prepared a magnificent life at home for you. When the Philippian church wrote to Paul in prison, expressing their concern that Caesar would execute him, Paul's response demonstrated a fearless anticipation and he said this, For to me to live is Christ and to die is gain. I am hard pressed between the two, having a desire to depart and be with Christ which is far better. It has always been a characteristic of God's children to have confidence even in the face of death. David comes to mind. He was constantly surrounded by death wherever he went. Why do you think he wrote this? Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Job also used graphic words to describe what death would do to his body. Yet he also remained unshaken. He wrote this, For I know that my Redeemer lives, and at the last he will stand upon the earth, and after my skin has been destroyed, yet in my flesh I shall see God. Jesus, Paul, David, and Job were not at all speaking of relief from pressures of this world or release from the grip of any specific disease. They were speaking in anticipation of eternal life in glory with God.